just a moment of your time, please. You're the one the Vanguard has been crowing about. The Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the Liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King, so when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir. So that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape. And listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. Broke the lattice on the way out. And some blood. Looks like they cut drops of blood leading away. Perhaps your travels have taken you through. Speak of it. I'm still on the trail. Still more blood. The thief got cut. The trail ends here. I suppose it's time to but someone must have seen the thief. Did someone run past here, holding a sword? Sure did. He grabbed some linen off the stand here and took off down the stairs behind you. He was bleeding, so maybe he needed a binding. Blast it! That was expensive cloth. I can't believe I paid for that thief's bandage. I hate it more. I have family who fled the Sunfall. I hope this ceasefire leads to real peace. They do, somewhere up north. If the thief came this way, there's only one way he could have gone. Forward. No sign of the thief. Someone must have seen him go by. Did you see anyone run through here? He would have been holding a sword. Yeah, almost crashed into me too. He ran down the parapet here and went down the lift. No way you'll catch him now. I didn't see a sword, though. He wasn't carrying anything. Not a damn thing. Just ran like his ass was on fire. The thief must have ditched the sword. But where? Maybe he had help. That merchant stall would have been a convenient drop-off. It looks like the thief got away, but without the sword. I thought maybe he dropped it off somewhere. Like here, for instance? What? No. I had nothing to do with this. I guess we'll see when I get the city guard to toss your stall and question your customers. Uh, hold on. 
There's more to this. You've got a reputation for a shining light in the darkness, so I know you'll listen. You're right. The sword was passed to me, and I passed it on to someone else. It's going to be sold, but not for profit. The shards will go to people in need. You expect me to believe that? I can prove it. Meet my friends at the water mill in the lower village. They'll explain everything. If they don't convince you, come right back with the guards. I'm not going anywhere. It wouldn't matter if you did. I'd find you. <sighs> but all right. I'll check out the water mill. Okay. Guess I should go to this water mill then to find out what's going on. But what do you want the Sun King to do about it? We have other priorities. to rest. I just wish I could do it more often. I was told to expect you, Aloy. I suppose you want answers. Well, it's not complicated. We collect valuable objects from people who don't need them, sell them for shards, and use the money to help the needy at Sunfall. You mean you steal? If you want to call it that. From hogs who've had their turn at the trough for generations. Ravon didn't seem like a hog to me. He stinks just like the rest of them, of wealth and contentment, while people beneath him suffer. Who exactly gets the shards at Sunfall? Not the bastards in the fortress. We use the shards to make sure the poor in Shadowside get to eat or bandage their wounds. They only went west because they had to. Trust me, I know. My wife was chained up with a bunch of servants and herded with them. They starved to death, still bound together. I'm... I'm sorry. So am I. Where is the sword now? Safe. I haven't sold it yet. What do you expect me to do now? Walk away? I was hoping you'd help us. They say you can track like a stalker. Well, my partner, Nassan, disappeared near the branded shore. He was bound for Sunfall, along with an entire shipment of food. If you found that, you'd be helping a lot of people. I'll consider it. But only if you return the sword to Ravon. I knew you were gonna say that. Fine, I'll return the damn blade. Nassan was supposed to meet his contact at an old campfire on the fork near the branded shore. Start looking there. But be careful. Lots of machines out there, and lots of Shadow Karja. And not the needy kind, but they're tormentors. So you have fighting machines, or pacing around here. Keep. A fork. This must be when Asan was supposed to check in. That looks like there was a scuffle here. But no body. If someone dragged us on off, there should be tracks. Oh, here we are. Let's see where they went.
A shadow carja post. Let's hope Nassan is inside. I'm done! You're not going to be the one to stop me. Guide this through the heart of my club. Got Nassan, all right. He needs help. Let's try this again. I'll keep it simple since you're obviously feeble. What were you doing out by the fork? It was. Oh, no. You've 
Let's get you out of here. I thought that old salt had abandoned me. <laughs> Guess I owe him a slap on the back. Come on, this way. Kindeev told me about the cause. Did you lose the shipment? No. It's hidden nearby. There's a lot of hungry people in Sunfall that will be happy to see it. Good. Now, listen. When you head back to Meridian, talk to a noble named Ravon. If you're honest with him, I think he'll help. Beg a high blood for help? Ugh. But after everything you've done, I can't refuse. But for now, I'm bound for Sunfall. Be safe. A man named Nissan came to see me, and we came to an arrangement. I think many in Sunfall will benefit from it. All this from a stolen sword. As they say, follow the shadow, and you'll find a flame. Take a look at these wares. Able-bodied adventurers! Oi there, Outlander. Name's Vilgund. Did you come to the city looking for work? Oh, good shards. Enough to buy garb more becoming of your- Okay, stop there, if you want me to hear you out. I, I only meant uh, a well-molded woman such as you. <clears throat> I heard an interesting rumor about a Banuke camp. Tame machines, the rumor said. So I, uh, I hired men to investigate. To, just investigate, that's all. Uh, those Banuke are canny, too canny. I paid up front. Well, uh, half up front. I I've had no word back. So now you're hiring someone to find the last men you hired. <laughs> They're a sunk cost. This rumor's worth more to me. So is there any more to the rumor about this camp? <laughs> the last bunch just wanted to know about the reward. Hey, you're a smart one. This camp isn't even big enough for a name up where the snow won't thaw. They say the Banuke there live alongside machines. Peaceful as you like. Keep them, use them, sing to them. If it's true, if we learn how they do it, Think how valuable that would be to all the tribes. When you say valuable, you mean they'd pay you for it. Girl, I'm not made of straw. What can you tell me about the Banuk? The Banuk women. Snow witches all. Cold eyes, cold... <clears throat> they choose to live up there in Ban-Ur, in the ice trying to have a conversation, it's like chipping them out of the stuff. They prefer machines for company. That's why I'm putting my shards on this rumor. Then they might not want outsiders to know about this place. <laughs> Their mystic act. No care for possessions, for luxuries. Pile of slag. Those people bargain harder than the winter frost. 
Are you some kind of merchant? You don't seem to have any wares. Hmm, more of an explorer. But you send other people to do your exploring. <clears throat> All right, more of an opportunist. Uh, girl, Nora girl, <clears throat> Huntress. We live in a world of opportunities, risky opportunities. But why should risk stand in the way of a lucrative prospect for the likes of me? All right. I'm more of a gambler. If I did look into your rumor... You won't need to climb up the shoulders of the world for it. It's on the edge of Banuk land, beneath the anvil of the moon. And you look like you know your way around the savage east. <clears throat> the east. If it's true they walk among machines without fear in this camp, well... You can't miss that, can you? Payment on return. I am Tikuk. Shaman. I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> the blue light is strong here. My people traveled far from the heights of Ban Ur to experience it for themselves. The blue light? The light of the machine spirits. It is all around us. It settles upon us. This is how it used to be, before they grew angry. I... I know about the derangement, but I didn't think the machines were ever this calm. What is it about this place? We don't really know. We sing, and we listen to the machine songs. The machines sing to you? To each other. You are a hunter. You must have heard. Their communions and hymns, their calls and cries. We're not meant to understand, but we shamans try to interpret. What is the song that angered them so, that turned them upon us? What song soothes them? Does it thrum in the air here, just outside of hearing? How can we heal the machine world? What's with the big guy? I was drawn to this place in a storm. At first, I thought the keening was the wind, snapping off the mountain's frozen face. But no, it was the Thunderjaw's song. I found it crouched on its haunches, its metal unmoving, and I took shelter beneath it. When the storm cleared, its singing done, perhaps the spirit left its great shell, or perhaps it slumbers and remains. So we have not stripped and gleaned this one. We treat it with the care it is owed. Do you mind if I look around more, Tikuk? Speak, trade, listen. You are welcome. No harm will come to you here. So it's not the Banuk that are doing this. There's something about this place. They can't see it, but maybe my focus can. <sighs> Getting soaked from melted snow.
There, the signal. And the source is at the top of the mountain. I better look into it. This is how the Banuk must have gotten up and down the mountain. the Banuka further north. We <laughs> almost see back to the sacred land. Don't miss it. Leave us here. Did Vilgen send you? I guess shards can buy a conscience. <laughs> Never mind that. Nora girl, you have to stop the others. Up ahead, we snuck up here. Uncovered some kind of ancient device, plain as an anvil. That's what affects the machines. The other bungheads voted to take it to Pitchcliff for auction. But it's taken a beating already. Like it dropped from the sky. We tried to stop them digging it out. Without that thing up here, those Banuk will be massacred. I'll stop them. You two get out of here. It sounds like you've already done enough damage. Well, that's very crazy. Slip forward, you bunch of chuff skull. What have you done? Who are you? You're not one of those Banuk. <sighs> Too late. Let me look at it. Hold on, hold on. This was our delve. We did the work. You want to put your axe in? What's this thing worth to you? I don't know about this. This was your idea. You started it, you can finish. All right. Could be this thing's just scrap, but even scrap has a price. So I'll ask again, what's it worth to you? It's worth more to me than you are. You still want to negotiate? Forget it. All he's ever given me is black toes. <sighs> They've made a mess of this. Catastrophic malfunction. been sending a signal all this time, fading out. I have to get back to the camp before the machines tear it apart. <clears throat> no, they've already started attacking. Thank 
Keep your distance. Hunters, defend the camp. Do what you must. No turning now back. you'll hear my song, machine. A sharp song. this change would come upon us? Not exactly. Although I know there is a lot changing in our world. This time it was outsiders. Those Osiram thought. The Osiram do not think. They will never understand the balance between us. Between man and machine. Now the blue light has gone. And we are left with many songs. But more for mourning than gratitude. So what now? Will you go back to your homeland? When we teach the young to walk on shifting ice, we say, the secret is taking one step, then the next. Perhaps one day, we will understand the machine's mysteries. I hope so. Good luck, Teacook. Adventurers? Outlander! Are you looking for... Wait. I know your face. <laughs> you came back! Uh, how did we fare? Expensively. That's what I was afraid of. The tame machines... It's hard to explain, but there was a kind of signal that calmed them. Your men got greedy, so it's gone now. Gambling's a shoddy job, girl. I should have been a weapons dealer. That's steady work. Here, take it. The half I'd owed those hammer-handed chunks. Half? I finished the job. And what was it you said? Enough to buy a more becoming garb? What do you want? Carja silks? Ah, hoisted on my own purse strings. <laughs> <laughs> 